Construction on a $200 million mixed-use development in South Haven, Mississippi, is taking longer than expected. Yeah, work on Silo Square across from Snowden Grove on Gatwell started back in April of last year. Local 24 News reporter Tish Clark live in the studio tonight. And you know, Tish, what is the holdup? Okay, so Katina and Richard, the developer, Brian Hill, plan to have residents living at Silo Square by the end of this summer. But... He says Mother Nature has put the project about six months behind. Hill and the mayor say Silo Square, though, will be worth the wait. It barely gets dry enough to go to work before it rains again. That's been the holdup with Silo Square in South Haven, Mississippi, says developer Brian Hill. Throughout the winter, we, we got about one day a week to work, so it has been a slow go. Hill is hoping for a break in the wet weather long enough to dry up some of the 230 acres he's developing on Getwell across from Snowden Grove. The asphalt will be down next week on the entire commercial area and we're getting our paperwork together right now to go pull the building permits for the first two town square buildings. Silo Square will consist of 700,000 square feet of commercial space and more than 300 single family homes, high end apartments and hotels, all connected by seven miles of walking trails. South Haven Mayor Darren Musselwhite says South Haven is basically scattered all over the city, so a town square would make it a pedestrian friendly central gathering place for families, friends and folks from all walks of life. It's starting to look like a development. You know, it's it's uh, it's fun to see uh, something go from a sketch to reality, and we're starting to see that. We should be building houses in two months. All right, so Magnolia House Boutique, that's um, out of Florida, Destin, Florida, Planners Bank, Slim Chickens Restaurant, and at least three other restaurants plan to open in Silo Square. Now, officials are being pretty hush-hush about other businesses moving in just until it's official. Some of the residential space is expected to be ready for tenants by the end of the year, weather permitting, of course. Live in the studio tonight, Tish Clark, Local 24 News.